Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We are back once more, trying to achieve 100 and we are going to go for a spicy run. We did some cool stuff recently as, um, who was it? We had a really, really good run where we beat Mother. Was it as Kane? I think it was as Kane, wasn't it? Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Indeed it was. Uh, that was a, a very cool run with uh, the homing brimstone. I will tell you, I've been doing a little bit of, of, uh, of playing off camera. Just to try, for one, I, I, I have a very big backlog of videos right now, so I still want to play the game, but I don't want to over-record because there's patches coming out, and like I said, I already have a huge backlog. So I've just been playing, and I've been streaming it to my Discord, so anyone in my Discord can come and watch. Uh, and I've been playing as the All Lost, and I've managed to, uh, I've managed to do a, a few things. <laughs> I managed to beat Hush, uh, Boss Rush, I just did Greedier today. Uh, Mum's Heart, um, Isaac, Blue Baby, and Satan. So I've unlocked a few things. This character is so fucking fun, by the way. We're not going to play all characters yet because, one, thumbnails. I'm still not decided on what's going on with that. And two, we want to try and unlock our other alts first. But anyways, let's uh, let's jump on in. Let's do some stuff. Um, and who are we yet to have an alt with? Uh... Bethany's missing one. Lazarus Azazel. Eve is missing one. Let's let's try and go Eve, maybe. Let's try and go and get an Eve alt unlocked. Uh, let's try that out. Apparently, Eve's is kind of cool, so let's jump on in and see exactly what we can do here. Hope we can get a good run going on. But yes, I cannot wait to get to the alt characters. Oh my god, we started with Sci-Fly. Okay, this is a one run. <laughs> no, it's not, but this is a very, very good run. Uh, starting with Sci-Fly is... Uh, Pretty insane. Of course, we got our very first mother win due to Sci-Fly, so we know it's power. It is a very strong, a very, very strong item. Essentially, any single uh, tier on screen that gets fired at us, Sci-Fly will be pretty much on it and make sure that, that does not hit us. Unless we walk directly into it, it's going to be real hard for um, enemies to hit us with this. Also, I'm currently not going into Eve's alt form. Uh, by using the razor just because I want to see if we can get a soul heart before we do that I think that'd be a, a good idea. Don't you uh, let's take care of these fires Although even if they shoot at me, it won't be an issue because sci-fly has my back But yes, I definitely don't want to throw this run away. So I think um, I think going for uh, Going for Eve's horror Babylon straight away It's a bit of a risky play and I don't want to take risks on a run that could so easily be so damn good um, of course, it does mean that we are playing with very, very subpar damage right now. I don't actually know. Sci-Fly is orbiting us. Can it do... What the fuck is going on here? I, I really maybe think that this guy should have a limit to how many of these fucking things he could spawn. Dude, just sit fucking still, you stupid spider. This enemy is the worst. <laughs> sit still. Oh my god. One moment. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just a phone call. But yeah, we got to take out this spider that's just created an absolute shitstorm. One one thing that we are going to notice, at least early on, I've I've noticed, I mean, this in Isaac for a long time now, since I've been playing it a long time. You, you don't get many enemies that shoot at you early. It's all it's all contact damage based early on. So, like like even this enemy, Sci-Fly's not going to be able to do anything against this guy. Um, But yeah, we are going to notice that there's going to be... um. There's going to be a deficit of enemies that Sci-Fi can actually help us on. Um, but we will get there. We just got to watch out for this dude. It does seem that Sci-Fi is doing damage on contact as well, which is really nice. Basically, this dude, you just got to tow the line of your speed. You've got to make sure that you're traveling at just the right speed to not hit the creep. It's kind of difficult to do, actually. Um, we, we, we're not really too bothered about alt path. We do have the resources to get there, but I don't think so. And I don't really... I don't know. I'm not 100% sure where our secret room is this time. There's two different places. Do I want to risk going for it? That is the question. Because we definitely could. Because um, there's there's two places it could be. It could be here. Or it could be here. Generally, they don't like be putting secret rooms next to thin rooms. So I'm going to say here. I was wrong. Um, okay. I mean, I suppose it... No, that's the only place it could be. Uh, so it has to be here then. Uh, sadly, that was a waste of a bomb. Damn. Damn, damn. Oh, well. I want to be a bit more vigilant about going to secret rooms and things. Because generally in Isaac, many of you that have watched me for a long time will know that I am very, 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 very bad at making sure to go to secret rooms. 
Um, and that's mainly because in Afterbirth Plus, secret rooms, both super and normal, were pretty trash. Like, there was a lot and a lot of dud secret rooms that have like a reroll machine in it with no item or a single black poop. There was there was a, a good few just complete dud rooms. Um, but I do believe, or at least I feel so far with my experience, that they have very much so increased the quality of um, of the rooms that you're, that you're finding in your secret rooms, the stuff that you can find. Um, I've had a few really, really good ones off camera with Tainted Lost, and I've had a few good ones on camera with you guys too, so I definitely think it's a bit more worthwhile now. Even with a single bomb, I'm a little more uh, little more okay with it. But yeah, Sidefly seems to be doing decent orbital damage. Of course, its main purpose is definitely not to be an orbital, so we're only going to be killing low HP enemies with it. But at the minute, we are very much so trying to keep our Deal the Devil alive um, because we really, 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 really want to trade away this red HP. Like, if we could trade this, trade away this red HP, that would be fantastic. Uh, let's actually focus on the little dips first, that of which I just cannot hit. Are they going to be two shot? Yeah, two shot. Wait, I didn't have three shot. Oh, God. Uh, Eve starting damage at 2.63. You can tell it's intended for you to immediately get into Horror Babylon. And I I, I do want to do that, but as soon as I got Sidefly, I'm like, this run has some this this run has a chance. This run has a real solid chance. So we need to um try as hard as we can to not die. And I think one one big step in that is not lowering ourselves to one heart immediately and trying to let a deal with the devil do that for us. Now, of course, we do create our own problem. In the fact that the fact that we're trying to get a deal with the devil and be safe means we've got less damage, which means we might actually have a higher risk of losing our deal with the devil chance because we're trying to keep it. It's it's kind of it's kind of strange, but I think it's a better idea. This guy's going to be a real pain in the caboose, um, just because he's hippity hopping all over the place. Uh, Bolita, honestly, not bad. Makes Eve look the most emo possible, which is great, um, but. Honestly, not that bad. This is definitely our worst room yet, but Sci-Fly finally comes into effect. As you can see, Sci-Fly doesn't always get the tears, but I'd say like 80% of the time it's going to be able to protect us. Uh, enemies with high shot speed like these halves are definitely where she falls off a bit, our little Sci-Fly. But for the most part, doing a great job keeping us safe. Um, any enemy that has the new highest shot speed from hard mode, we're going to find a little bit of trouble with. One really cool thing about Sci-Fly as well is when it deflects shots, if it manages to deflect a shot that's only just come out of the enemy's mouth or whatever, uh, it does a lot of contact damage during that. Do we want to spend a bomb on this? Probably. Yeah, there you go. We got every coin from that. Seems worthwhile to me. We might need our bomb for something else, but you watch. We'll find a Tinted Rock in this next room, won't we? Um, this is a slightly harder room just because of the way those gapers kind of decided to act. That was very strange. They they very much like dispersed rather than coming straight for us. One good thing though, as soon as these guys become their headless versions, they're going to start firing tears or at least a lot of them are. And Sci-Fi will promptly deal with that, which is really nice. Uh, we've got two headless ones that are spewing so far. Yeah, because we actually kind of want Sci-Fi to be hitting things that are shooting at us because she'll do extra damage. And... That's actually going to be a lot of our damage at the minute, which is kind of crazy to think. Um, hopefully we get a boss that's kind of compatible with Sci-Fly and is going to try and shoot us. Nope. And even even more so for this, would have very much liked to have kept that bomb. I actually think killing this boss very, very quickly would have been more worthwhile than, um, than the money that we gained. Just because this boss is going to take an alarming amount of time. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to use Sci-Fly here in the safest way possible. To do a bit of contact damage. You just gotta be careful because he just, just he does that attack that he just did there, where all of the flies currently on him get like pushed away from him. Ooh, that was very close. I had to I had to hold my hold myself uh, in there and just kind of lock in. Basically, at the minute, we're just trying to negate as many of his flies as possible so that we can actually deal damage to him. With low damage like this, this, this boss can take a really long time. As you can see, these big flies take like four shots to kill. There you go, he's done, his, he's done his little breakup thing. The breakup attack that he does is kind of just to give you some air to actually kill him. But we got him now. Of course, he spawns a few extra, but we shouldn't get hit by any of these as long as we're uh, paying attention. Okay, we're good to go. Please give us HP. Nope. Uh, right, deal with the devil. We are going to play it risky, and we're going to take Dark Judas. Just so that we can activate Horror Babylon. Um, I actually think as well... 
that we play it risky. We go spend our only key on the shop and hope for a soul heart. We didn't get a soul heart, but we did get a black heart and black candle. So this is this has actually worked out pretty damn well. We still don't have a trinket yet. That's definitely the, the big thing that we're missing so far. I do like the fact that you the deal of the devil seem to stay open a lot more than they used to, which is rather nice. But we're going to keep our red heart and just jump on down, staying on the normal path, just because I don't really think we have the power for the alt path right now. Like, our damage is better and our speed is better, but apart from the Horror of Babylon, we don't actually have any other, like, upgrades on that. As you can see, though, Sci-Fly is killing it against these enemies, dealing good damage and keeping us safe. For the most part, Sci-Fly is going to be the big, the big, the big winner of this run. I mean, I've emphasized that quite a lot already, but it really is. Sci-Fly, in my opinion at least, is probably one of the best items added in, rep in Repentance defensively. Maybe even just best item, like, total. Because basically every single boss that's actually hard to defeat is firing a lot and a lot of shots at you. And we, we have seen it firsthand. This this single fly can completely negate all of Mother's attacks. Like, literally every single one of them. No matter, it doesn't matter how many tears she's firing. So, the fact that that can happen um, just means that, like, if, you, if you're fighting Hush or Delirium, it's going to be super good, too. It's only really contact damage that you're, uh, that you're going to find difficult, but... That's okay. So we, we did get a key back here as well. So we're good on that front. Um, I don't really know how Sci-Fly deals with um, with like monstrous shots because they go up high. I don't know if she can if she can like raise up higher and grab those, or if she has to get them once they drop down. Still though, had no worries on that room at all. These enemies are quite annoying. They do spew at you. Do you spew? Do you spew? So I can just get it over with. Okay. Nope. Don't do you spew. Right, item room, item room, where are you? Please give me something absolutely amazing. It's, it's one of those runs where I, I, I do want to go for a planetarium and just leave some item rooms, but I really would like, like, a solid damage up before we do that. Okay, you, Head of Keeper, you're just jumping into this fire. Okay, Head of the Keeper is, um, apparently immune to fire damage. Unless that was just some sort of collision bug. Okay, this is a rather annoying enemy that I might end up bombing. Uh, can anyone remember what this guy drops? I probably should have done that the other way around. I should have broken it up and then gone for the bomb. Um, I can't remember what this guy drops in terms of items, because it's not Shoop the Whoop anymore, is it? Um, I can't remember. That was not a good bomb. We got one head there. So, oh, that was stupid. That was really stupid. Take out the small heads first. I was trying to get Sci-Fly damage in there. Not a good idea. We do get Dead Bird activated though, which honestly, against these smaller enemies, these weaker enemies, does do an okay amount of damage. I always forget that Dead Bird's an item that Eve starts with, so... Let's see, do we get an item? We don't. We get a single Troll Bomb. It was all so worthwhile. <laughs> God damn it, game. This game can be a true troll sometimes. But yeah, we do now have a respawn as Dark Judas, but Dark Judas has been pretty heavily changed. Uh, Dark Judas used to just be a respawn on two black hearts, and you also got double damage. That was it. No gimmick. Just straight up a great item. Now, it is still very good. It still doubles your damage, but it limits you to only soul hearts and black hearts. You no longer can get red health as Dark Judas. So, Dark Judas essentially got the blue baby treatment, which isn't honestly a bad thing. If you're if you're planning on respawning as Dark Judas, you're probably fine with that anyways. There's our trinket. Yeah, you're, you're probably perfectly fine with that anyways. Number two... Eh, I don't know. I don't know what to think of number two. Number two is a fine item, and it does let us get into our secret rooms for, for free, essentially. Uh, where would our secret room be here, actually? I don't know. This is a hard one, yet again. Uh, could be here. Try it out. Yeah, essentially it lets us get bombs for free. Uh, which is really nice, but it can be slightly dangerous because you can end up planting a bomb when you don't intend to. But, I'm going to say, just for doing that, it's real nice. Um, why are we having such trouble finding our secret room here? Um, go for it. Damn, I'm checking everywhere and just not finding it right now. God damn, I, I've literally checked everywhere. <laughs> Might be back over near the cash room, possibly. I don't, I honestly don't know. Um, could be here, maybe. Wow, okay, we, we did not find the secret room. We might be able to get this one. 
I'm apparently just awful. <laughs> just awful. But yeah, really, really nice if you can manage it. Like, if you can keep an eye on it and make sure you don't get hit by your own bombs. Luckily, we have high enough speed to make getting hit by the bombs kind of a rarity. Okay. Card booster pack isn't great. Two of diamonds, two of clubs, ace of diamonds. Okay, so I think we just pop two of diamonds. I think we pop two of clubs. Judgment and the fool. I think we just grab the ace of diamonds and book it. Health is in a very bad spot right now. Like I said, we have the respawn, so it's not as bad, but still, not good. I cannot believe we didn't find a single secret room on that last floor. That's a travesty. And I already hit myself with butt bombs, essentially. I didn't actually hit myself with the butt bomb there, but it caused me to move directly into something. Just, I was just about to say, please give us a soul heart. We needed a soul heart so bad then. So this, this run's looking a little bit saucy, I have to say. This run's looking a little bit saucy. We could easily kill ourselves in a single butt bomb here. Or we could just get hit by a massive poison creep cloud. This is bad. This is real bad. Uh, we're going to have to go across here. Good, good. Um, fine, thank you. Yeah, we definitely need some healing pretty, pretty sharpish here. Butt bombs are being an absolute nightmare right now. It's, it's so weird, because they're so fucking good, but so fucking dangerous. Being able to just fart random bombs out all the time is so good. And it, like, it only takes like three seconds to plant a bomb too. Why am I so bad at finding secret rooms? I just can't do it at all. It's rooms like this where butt bombs is really bad. What you can do for butt bombs though is you can fire, then leave, then then like let go of the fire key, then fire, then let go, and it stops the bombs from spawning. It's just remembering to do that is not exactly easy. Good. Uh, pff, that's a very nice upgrade. That's a, that's a pretty big damage upgrade, really. Essentially, that's just quad shot for free. Doesn't scale with our damage, but still, uh, very much would like to find our shop here. Not a big fan of that guy being slowed. Also, ball attack plus the in intruder does mean that we, uh, we're getting extra slowing effects. Like, multiple different slowing effects, which is really nice. Okay. Honestly, if we find a room that, that looks way too hard, we just gotta use our ace of diamonds. Ooh, that's very nice to see. Which is a room like this, yeah. I, I can't get the money, but that room looks way too difficult. Let's do this. Oh, there's a secret room. Found that in the in an unlikely method there. Probably gonna fart again in a second. Mm, no, we're, we're taking our sweet, sweet time. Maybe I've got to leave go, like let go of the fire key, then start. Yeah, I do. Okay, so if you keep on firing after the first bomb, you're pretty much fine by the looks of things. I, 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 maybe that's changed. Maybe that's how it's always, always was. I swear before it just used to continuously plant bombs though. Trying to get some extra damage from the bombs here, but it's not the easiest. There we go. Pretty nice. Okay, scary but worthwhile. We also got a secret room here, which is yet more fantastic money. Back in hell, our money's going. Maybe we could get money equals power. Good, good. That was a perfectly placed bomb there. Sidefly's still just been an absolute G here. Okay, here's our uh, here's our thingy. Okay, Soul Heart, fantastic. Also, Champion Belt, fantastic. This is both two things that I'm very fond of. Yeah, yeah. Essentially, we've just got to make sure that we uh, that we back away as soon as we plant a bomb, that we can move out of the out of the blast radius, like that. But this is going to be a very good boss to plant extra bombs on, so I'm going to try and do that. Also, where the fuck did that? Little purple ball go then. Yeah, this is this is bad. Good, good. <laughs> this is this is such a spicy run. We have such an offensive and offensively heavy run with just no fucking HP. Like just no no HP at all. That was a perfectly placed butt bomb. My god.
try for it. Just gotta keep going, trying for it. Damn. No soul heart for us. This is a very mean room. Oh my god. I do not like the look of this room at all. So when we're now in the in the danger zone of butt bombs killing us in a single hit. That's I think that's definitely gonna be the way we end up dying, um, for this life at least. We'll probably end up respawning as Dark Judas. Just because Butt Bomb will do a full heart of damage, and it's very, very hard for us to avoid if there's a lot going on. Like, we've got to be very attentive. Luckily, there is a sound cue, which does make it a bit easier. It's still not easy. Quad shot's really good here. We've got um double quad shot, which is kind of interesting. Of course, lows have fire rate by quite a bit, but we've got quite a lot of fire rate up items, so we still have relatively high fire rate. Ooh, before I fuck off, I did not see this previously. Well done, me. <laughs> I'm sure, like, literally all of you were like, oh my god, turtle, please. And also, why do we keep getting these enemies, which just insta-hit me as soon as I walk into a room? Not funny. This is very scary. Okay, got a lot of knockback here, so I should be able to push these guys onto the, uh, yeah, onto the spikes very easily. More money, holy shit. Um, let's, let's quickly just go and grab this. Let, let's go leave this in an item room before we forget. I'm really liking the shot speed trinket with the, the, the zip worm or whatever it's called, whip worm. Um, I very much want to keep that going. So we'll go back and grab that, but... Just leave this in there for now, just so that we know it's done. That actually looks very similar to the key fragment piece. Uh, the the little red one we have there, the little trinket. Right. We keep going. Still very, very risky on the HP here. Okay, with quad shot, we can tap fire relatively easily without it affecting our rate of fire all too much. So we probably want to do that in rooms where it makes sense to not bomb everything. This one we can bomb easily. Good, good. Oh my god. This is a, a really horrible group of enemies here. Is that a, was that a rainbow guy or was that just me seeing things? Was that just multiple champions next to each other and I was getting confused between the colors? Oh, hello. That was close. But bombs. Go for some butt bombs. Right, we carry on. We'd very much like our shop here as well. Oh, fuck. Don't worry, Sci-Fly's got our back. Sci-Fly always has our back. <laughs> it's, it's crazy how good this run is, but we just have no HP. Also, these enemies again, which is just fun. Stunning them with butt bombs, though, makes them a bit easier. Okay, this is definitely a tap fire room. Yep. Okay, shop. Sadly, not great. I will take dream catcher though. Um, and we will go and fight our boss. It's reap creep. I keep forgetting that reap creep can show up on these floors. Not a good boss for us to fight. He has many attacks that are very, very hard to tell. Like, I haven't really learned the telegraphing of them yet. So I find them very, very difficult. We can get some extra bomb damage here with butt bombs though, which is rather nice. That was not a good example of doing that, though. Yeah. You do you, Reap Creep. We got him. Whew. Look, guys. Look. Look what it is. It's HP. And it's gone. <laughs> no, we definitely need that. That's giving us... Oh, there you go. I was like, where's the black hearts gone? And then they finally appeared. I was a bit scared that we weren't going to get any of the black hearts then. Um, okay. I skipped the fucking intro thing. God damn it. I keep forgetting how good Dreamcatcher is and I keep, like, misusing it. Well, I say misusing it. Just not using it at all. It's so second nature. I really wish that Dreamcatcher just forced you to watch it. Like, it, I'm going to say, it, it, it means you don't get, like, the extra four seconds of speed going to the next floor. But come on now. It's an item that only works if you don't skip that cinematic. Just make it so I can't skip it. <laughs> Would be very, very appreciated. 
Right, we're looking for our fool card now. Yeah. Boom. Try me, bitch. I, and, I, again, I do realize that I'm not currently looking for secret rooms. It's because I suck at it. <laughs> like, I spend so much time looking for them. And the runs are already long, so it's like, I don't want to spend ages looking for them. Like, especially if I don't really, really need the advantage. I mean, I definitely do need it a bit. I would very much like more HP. But I, I don't need it a super amount. Um, still no Tinted Skull. This is definitely a, a Butt Bombs room. Good. Oh, fuck. I do not like this room at all. Sci-Fly has real trouble when things are flying really high above him. Soul Heart. Thank you. Good stuff. Okay, still not, still no um, thingy. No tinted skull. Spiders from this guy. Annoying, but not too annoying. Especially considering he keeps them, like, locked in their own little cage. The triple. Okay, pro probably in this room, right? Nope, it's not. Oh, really? Really, you walk right into me? Oh, hello, butt bomb. Okay, let's quickly go back and see if we can find it. We've, we found our item room. Yes, we have, yeah. We got, um, Cane's Other Eye. This is definitely why I would have loved to, um... Would have loved to have skipped that because I could have got a planetarium. I don't actually know if you can get planetariums on the home path, but if you can, if you can, we would have been able to get one. Because that's kind of the, the that's the biggest get from um, from Dreamcatcher. You get to see your item room, and if it's not good, you can skip it, which increases your planetarium chance. I, I, at least in my opinion, that's kind of the whole point. Bacano. Have we seen the Tinted Skull yet? Yes, we have. Good, good, good. Grab it and go. Sadly, this run is like, it's on the brink of very good. It's It's got it's got the makings of a very strong run. I think it's like one damage upgrade and some HP off of being super good. I mean, we might end up getting a deal with the devil here that fixes that, but I just highly doubt it. I have to say. I'm gonna say, let's just remember Butt Bombs exists and don't get hurt by it, and we'll be fine. I'm trying to push it into the uh, the doors so I can get uh, extra damage on her nubs. That was good. There we go. Doesn't matter which one of these we take. No deal with the devil. We Polaroid out, and we are away with the... Do you know what? I will do one thing first. I am gonna check for a secret room right here. Nah, I was hoping we could get into the boss trap room. Anyways, let's go down. Mausoleum could be the defining factor here. Gotta remember, there's always a shop and an item room in Mausoleum. This is a very bad room for me. Because these enemies are all contact damage based. Um, and they are fast. Also, this th that, that dude, the black one... He can do Brimstone, but I don't know for the life of me what triggers it. So I have a real hard time figuring that guy out. Look at that. Oh my god. It's like it's like fighting um Gary Jr., but harder. But bombs, you almost got me. But yeah, we definitely need some more HP. I'm hoping the shop alleviates that. Dunn's cap is interesting. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I was thinking, just shooting. Dunn's cap is interesting. I think it's too wacky. I think we go for the other item. Fucking so glad I did. There's that damage up. And we got piercing too. This should carry us the rest of the way. Piercing here is so nice for us. Gotta remember as well, we don't actually require that much HP to do well here. 
just due to the fact that Psyfly is going to keep us safe from a lot of the attacks. Of course, there is a few instances in the uh, last few boss fights where contact damage is an issue, but for the most part, it's all projectiles, and we... I, I'm not going to say we can, but we, we are very, very resilient against projectiles. Uh, it's going to it's gonna be a really long time before we get hit by one. Oh, shit. There was an eye over the gap there that I didn't see. My god. Okay, so here's our boss. I forgot how these guys work for a moment. We still need to find our shop. Do we bother even looking around for a shop? Yes, we do. Um, how do this room? How do? Uh, we've got a go. I don't. I, I honestly have no idea. Um, I don't get it. I don't get it. How about we do this? There you go. <laughs> Solve it the easy way. I'm not messing around with that weird shit. Oh, of course. Also, having piercing now, like, I've, I've noticed two things. Piercing and technology now have a much easier time pushing bombs. I don't think they used to be able to push them at all, but now they push them and they carry them really far. So getting our butt bombs away from us is going to be a lot easier. But here we go. We got Dad's note. I'm still apprehensive how this is going to go, but we'll see. We'll see. It's gone. Just get over it. I can't remember if we've unlocked Judas Assault, but I was thinking, what what happens? What happens if we if we unlock our ult and then uh, kill ourselves and try and unlock Judas' ult as well in the same run? Would that work? Probably not, right? Hey, thank you, Sci-Fly. Sci-Fly can uh, scoop up the fire too. He he really knows what he's doing. Right, I think it was Depths One uh, that we that we left our. Um, that we left our trinket on. Hello, little fellas. Fucking stupid. <laughs> that was so dumb. Sci-Fly ain't gonna help us with brimstone beams, I'll tell you that now. Should be it. Yes. Good, good. So I think, pretty sure it's this floor. He's so and Just like, like his father. Oh shit, this isn't, this isn't the room I thought it was. It's okay. We did get a tinted rock. Just keep me like Damn you. Good. We'll be fine you. You won't be fine without him. Don't say that. But this should be it. Yes, it is. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we're, we're, we're kind of more on the path of unlocking the ult than anything else, so I don't really care if we don't win, but this run is so close to a win. It's annoying. Oh, dude, that dude does not die the way I thought he did. Okay, our health is looking bad. Also, Death's Touch has got like a new metallic effect when it hits walls and stuff. It's kind of interesting. Sci-Fly going in. Thank you, Sci-Fly. Love you. Oh, my God. The, yeah, piercing has definitely, like, increased our, um, increased our ability to deal damage by quite, quite some, quite some bits. Quite some bits. Oh, we got, I was going to say we got cards there. It doesn't actually matter, does it? Can't do anything with cards. Insane. You are taking this, too far. this is a very explosive heavy room. Ooh, keys. Can you get a second sci fly from a key beggar? Imagine that. Like that would would that even be good? I wonder. I'm also wondering how butt bombs is gonna work on the fight, uh, the, the the beast fight. Am I gonna like drop them into the lava? Because if so, that actually works out quite nicely. I think I'm hitting stuff here. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, we, this room's unnecessary. Just bomb through it. If, if you don't have to do the room, 
In uh, in in the the path to perm, you don't have to. Nice bomb. Ooh, that's a lot of boys. That's a lot of fellas. This is an enemy that I'm still yet to understand. <laughs> I, I kind of most of the time I'm killing it before it can manage to do anything. Um, do you know what? What's our luck? Luck is one. We might want to play that. An eternal heart is great. Yeah, now that we just got an eternal heart, let's play this. Come on. In 30 coins, we should be able to get a single soul heart. Come on. You know we can. There's a card. It's the stars. You gotta check your cards, because you might get your hero font. Hero fonts are rare, but you might. We just got the cancer trinket, which I believe is probably quite a lot better than what we've currently got going on. Um with the, the whip worm. Which is pretty damn good. Come on, 13 cent left. You can give me a single soul heart, right? You can find your way to that. Honestly, this was worth it just for Cancer Trinket, though. I'd, I'd pay 30 cent for Cancer Trinket any day. Another card. Be Hierophant, come on. Ah, Wheel of Fortune. Sack of Dicks. Okay, these guys definitely take longer to brimstone now, which is good. Okay, this motherfucker? No thank you. Bye! <laughs> this motherfucker? No thank you. Bye! Bye! Some of these rooms are like... I wouldn't say they're guaranteed to get hit, but I have a very high likelihood of getting hit in them, so why the hell would I stay in them? Right, last floor. What a horrible night to have a curse. And we've got more HP now too, so all good. Oh, fuck, butt bombs, I completely forgot. Oh, sh really? The fire dude is the one that hit me? Not even the, the big bad boy? Right, this guy's gonna die anytime now. There you go. Extra keys for the key beggar, maybe. It's really poorly, boys, as well. And more keys. It's the fly, boys. Just nice to be able to stun everything like that. And Psyfly just, again, killing it. Okay, this has got to be it, right? Wait, the room's not over. What, what's left? Oh, hello. Where do you come from? This isn't it. It's definitely the right way, though, right? I think. Nope, it's not. Okay. I was double wrong. Double wrong. I wonder if there's any secrets with the red key piece that you can find on these floors. I bet there is. I bet there's, like, some super secret. Do you know, like, when we were doing the uh, Isaac's Awakening Challenge and we got the, uh, the red key secret rooms? I bet there's a few of those hidden about. There we go. Cool, we're good to go. Eve all unlocked. Very nice. Grab that. Just some money. Another golden chest. Ooh, a golden heart. Yay, now we can get money during the fight. Oh my god, Eve. Eve is looking even more emo. Mum's eye, that's fine by me, and let's go for it. I don't know how this is going to go. I still, I, I, I think our damage is a little, leaves a little bit to be desired, but I think that we should be able to be defensively pretty good because of Psyfly. Like, Psyfly is just going to take out pretty much everything that, that worries us. Oh, he's doing his weird brimstone. I always think, yeah. Butt bombs fucking screwed me there. I had a feeling it might. Okay, there you go. First phase is done. Phase two is really where it starts to kick off, though. Oh, he's doing this straight away. Okay. I'm in a bad spot to start this as well. Although, don't worry. Psyfly is here to help. Psyfly is here to help. Okay, we're good. I think it's always that that amount of times, like four or five it does, but it's always the same amount. 
can't remember exactly how many it is, but I've kind of got it committed to memory at least. Woo! That was close. Oh, fuck! My butt bomb almost screwed me again. Hey, finally you got hit by a butt bomb. And another one. Oh, fuck. This attack's so well designed. You gotta be really careful around that attack. It looks like it's quite easy, but it can be deceptive. Okay, we got him. Next phase, very low health going into this next phase. Very low health. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm interested to find out how our, how our butt bombs work. Are they literally just, yep, okay, this, that, that's great for us. Essentially, it means we're gonna get extra stuns. We're not gonna get much damage from it, but we are gonna be able to stun things. Sci-Fly is going to help keep the screen clear for us. Make sure that we don't get fucking screwed by uh, random floating tears. Thank you, Sci-Fly. Kane's other eye out here being, like, so powerful as well. There you go. Next phase. Damage is actually pretty good if we hit our invader shots as well. I have to say. Good job here as well as we can pretty much sit in front of him and Sci-Fly will... Yeah, there you go. Tank most of it. Okay, that's relatively good speed for kills. I think we should be okay. Piercing, of course, makes this guy a lot easier too. Because he fires those heckin' big balls of their uh, flies. Try and stand as close to the other poison path as possible. You can get him to land, like, pretty much inside each other. Instead of doing what I'm doing right now and creating a fucking wall of poison. It's a bit easier. But there you go. These balls of flies. Oh, we can literally just push it into the lava? Get fucked. Get absolutely fucked. But this is just the sci-fly show. I love it. Good, good, good. Next one, who we got? It'd be kind of cool if they came out in a random order, but I do understand why they come out in the order they do. Okay. The bombs can be problematic, but we should be okay. Yep. Yeah. Another one coming in. Obviously, mainly because of the explosion. Okay, we lost our holy mantle. Kind of interesting that you just get a holy mantle on this fight. Always found that a little bit odd. Fire coming out. We've got the speed though. The speed, having speed on this fight is so important. Uh, I've heard as well that if you're like below 0 0.8 speed on this fight, better man Dogma gives you like a plus 4, plus 0 0.4 speed I think once you, once you kill him. But if you're like really low speed, the attack where uh, the beast sucks you in and does all the fire, apparently... Sci-fly? Okay. Um, apparently that attack can literally suck you in so much that you cannot get out of it and you just get continually, continuously hit. I can't believe how, how I used to think that attack was so easy and I'm finding it so hard. Also, Invader being an absolute G with flight here. But this is kind of a really average run for like... I mean, we got quad shot um, Death Touch, which is really fun. But, like, we don't have anything crazy. Health is waning, but we're on to our last fight now. And this one is, at least with the speed that we've got, the one where we should lose least amount of health. So we should be okay here. What up, big boy? I love the way his eyes jiggle as he's, like, coming at you. Also, we've got a smaller hitbox because we don't currently have our head, which is visually very nice for me. It's very nice to not have to worry about it. Like, if you have some size up pills in this area, oh, my God, it's horrible. I've seen a few videos of people that have gone in with, like, really big size up pills and it just looks terrible but yeah this attack here if you don't have the oh my god side fly these count as bullets to you thank you if you don't have the speed for this he just sucks you in and kills you side fly you are the best go big boy oh something that someone pointed out to me the other day as well you see the little sort of raft that he's on, or whatever you'd want to call it. That's actually like mum's clothes. Wait, what the fuck's going on? I got hit twice there. Dude, what? What just happened? What the hell just happened? Uh, also, I'm Dark Judas now, so... It, Eve unlock goes bye-bye. But we just got double damage, so we should be okay here. Yeah, like, two stalagmites just fell on my head without me noticing. <laughs> okay, we got him. There you go. So, I'm hoping we didn't already do this as Judas and we actually get an unlock here. 
I'm you pretty sure we did, didn't we? Fuck. Oh my god. So we did get Eve's ult, but we didn't get the unlock. We actually did it on Judas. That's that's slightly frustrating, especially considering how close I got there. But I don't know, I like I just kind of sort of phased out and got hit twice in a row. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.